A painting is a collection of valuable thoughts and feelings. Today we are going to talk about the painting gifted to us by history. We will give you a detailed answers of the paintings. So first, see if you know the answers to these questions by watching the full video and you can get detailed explanations and information. Question number 1 What is the name of this work of art? The answer is Girl with a Pearl Earring. Girl with a Pearl Earring, all painting on canvas by Dutch artist Johannes Vermee, one of his most well-known works. The work permanently resides in the Moritz Schuess Museum in The Hague. No one actually knows who the girl is, in Girl with a Pearl Earring. Scholars estimate that the painting was completed in 1665 and is an example of a type of work called a trony. Popular in the Dutch Golden Age. Tronies were paintings that focused on the face of a subject with an added element of fantasy or an exaggeration of expression that differentiates them from portraits. Question number 2 what is this painting called? The answer is Monet's Water Lilies. Water Lilies is not a name of a single painting, but a name of a series of works. During his lifetime, Claude Monet comes back to this subject matter several times, and painted more than 250 Water Lilies paintings. Along with Starry Night by Vincent van Gogh, water lilies are the most iconic images of Impressionism. In all of the water lilies paintings, Monet focuses on the surface of the water. He dispenses with any representation of the land or sky, only showing their reflection in the water. These paintings are typical with willows present only as a reflection. The sky, with its white clouds, is reflected in the water, so the blue of the sky and the blue of the water are one. Only the presence of the water lilies helps the observer to understand that this is a reflection. Question number 3 What name is associated with this painting? The answer is El Desperado. Many of Corbett's earliest paintings from the 1840s are self-portraits. El Desperado is one such example. His style varied from romantic to realistic. Corbett made an impression with his self-portraits and used them as a method of self-promotion and advertisement. Question number 4 What did the artist call this piece? The answer is Whistler's Mother. Whistler's mother actually has a sister piece. Scottish philosopher and historian Thomas Carlyle was one of the people instantly taken by Whistler's arrangement in grey and black number one, so he sat for the lesser known, but similarly staged. Arrangement in grey and black number two. This piece has become one of the most famous American works abroad. Question number five. What is the name of this work of art? The answer is The Death of Marat. David's The Death of Marat depicts a real and gruesome political murder. Outspoken journalist and notable member of the Montagnards, John Paul Marat would never see the conclusion of the French Revolution in 1799. On the 13th of July in 1793, the 50 year old writer was murdered by 24 year old Charlotte Corday, who was a supporter of the monarchy. She had blamed Marat for escalating the violence of the revolution. Corday made no attempt to escape after the murder, so she was executed four days later. Question number six. What is the title of this painting? The answer is self-portrait with a sunflower. 
Self-Portrait with a Sunflower is a 1632-33 self-portrait by Anthony van Dyck. It is now in the private collection of the Duke of Westminster. It was produced at the height of his fame, while he was principal painter in order to their majesties at the court of Charles I of England, who also knighted him. He wears the gold chain given to him by Charles and holds a large sunflower, whose symbolism is much debated. Question number seven. What is this piece of art called? The answer is the kiss. Gustav Klimt's The Kiss is the archetype of tenderness and passion. This shimmering, colorful, love scene of two faces and bodies embracing each other is conserved at the Belvedere Museum in Vienna. Gustav Klimt's career was actually winding down when he painted this famous painting, The Kiss. Klimt had received scathing scorn in the first decade of the 20th century for his three-part University of Vienna ceiling paintings. Because of the nudity in these works, his interpretations were derided as pornographic and excessively perverted. Question number 8. What is this painting called? The answer is American Gothic. In the summer of 1930, Wood was visiting Eldon, Iowa, to attend an art exhibition. While he was there he saw a little white cottage that had a carpenter gothic window on the second floor that Wood thought was pretentious for such a quaint and humble home. He sketched out the house on an envelope, providing the base for what would become his most famous painting. This painting is what made Wood famous and it was an instant hit. Question number 9. What is the name of this work of art? The answer is Lady Lilith. Lady Lilith is an oil painting by Dante Gabriel Rossetti, first painted in 1866-68, using his mistress Fanny Cornforth as the model. Later it was altered, to show the face of Alexa Wilding. The subject is Lilith, who in ancient Judaic myth was the first wife of Adam. She is associated with the seduction of men and the murder of children. She is shown as a powerful and evil temptress. Question number 10. What is this painting known as? The answer is Woman with a Parasol. This painting, Woman with a Parasol, belongs to a series of paintings which Monet produced during the summers of 1875 and 1876. The landscape background in the series of paintings depicts the garden surrounding Monet's second home in Argentule, in the suburbs of Paris, along with the popper-filled fields in Columns and Genevilliers. Monet's wife, Camille, serves as his model along with his son, Jean, who was eight years old at the time of the painting. 